I've been making art since I was a young kid, and it's just something that I do that it's, uh, it's a learning process. I've spent a lot of time kind of like uh, walking around and doing a lot of photography and uh, photography actually, not being, me not being an expert in it, it actually was just more like a, a tool that I utilized in order for me to kind of like try to learn different techniques when it comes to like color scale and, and like texture and all these different um, mediums that I could be working with and um, what I'm really learning is uh, uh, texture is, is, is basically all around the community that I grew up in which is not so, not so far from here, which is South LA, it's like two miles. Uh, the inspiration comes from that, and th during that process, I ended up learning a lot about like the different textures, the color decay, um, uh, the way people sometimes like out of out of like a basic survival instinct, they build like a, a dog cage that is made out of wires and like these really beautiful. Um, there's like a there's like this ongoing uh, process that happens. If you have waste, like let's say your dresser, um, you put it on your front yard. You call the city, and the city picks it up. Walking through the, all those spaces, you see a bunch of material like material items, like household items that are like consistently being thrown out. And a lot of the times, there's a lot of material there. If you're an artist, like you you look at those things, and it becomes almost like an installation that is like on the sidewalk. And I'm like, okay, so that's like a, a pile up of things, and that's definitely inspiring for me because then I get an opportunity to really uh, just uh, see what I could do with this considered trash. And uh, I've done it many times where, where I just snap off a thing. I carry a, a tool where I just snap off a piece of thing and it kind of like, it's usually like the material. The material is what basically guides the, the thing, but definitely recycling and, and, and recycling the material and also like an uh, essence of res resourcefulness is definitely the, the key. I take photographs, I edit them, create the paintings, and they become almost like a reference point where I, I utilize the, the photograph as a as a almost like a like a little footnote to kind of like remind me of what I saw, and that's where the writing comes in. The writing really does help with that because you kind of like find some sort of poetic way to connect the dots, and that's basically how how I end up with this uh, construction of like different material and, and paints and and just like uh, unwanted material mostly, you know. I was born here in Los Angeles, California, uh, Martin Luther King Hospital, and uh, my father's profession was uh, painting houses and like, like uh, infrastructures that were being built. So like you have a lot of suburban neighborhoods that were build being built at the time. And uh, a lot of my experience was actually going with him and working with him and like doing a bunch of different like painters jobs, you know, so like I'll, I'll do like the caulking on the, on the edges of the, of the walls or the windows, depending on the, how old the house was or even like uh, scraping paint off of windows because uh, they would spray the window off. Uh, that was my experience uh, as a kid. Downtown is vibrant, man. I mean, uh, everyone's out here trying to do something, trying to make, uh, make a name for themselves, create a brand or, but not only that, like uh, for me, the, the most uh, interesting parts of downtown is the, the people around and, and the, the flow of people. For me, observing that and being part of it and actually being one of those people that flows through the, through the streets it, it becomes almost like this this uh, this harmony of, of like noise, people, and then like all these influences around. I think downtown itself has definitely inspired me to do a lot of work. 